The newly detected COVID-19 variant has health officials around the world and here in Wisconsin on high alert. Our Andrea Albers joins us now live in our studio for a look at actions local health officials are taking to try and keep southeast Wisconsin safe. Andrea, good morning. Good morning. A mask advisory is in effect right now for Milwaukee. The department issued it on Tuesday, encouraging everyone to wear a mask while indoors in a public setting. This new guidance is not a mandate. It's an encouragement to wear a mask. It's in reaction to high COVID case rates and in anticipation of the new Omicron variant making its way to southeast Wisconsin. It has far more mutations than we've ever seen in a circulating variant. Now what the effect of these mutations will be is still uncertain. It's not that I think people shouldn't be concerned. I think, you know, I'm concerned about it, but I don't want people to overreact to something we don't know the real answers about. And Governor Tony Evers continues to ask people to be careful and follow COVID precautions, things like wearing a mask and staying socially distant. Health professionals say the best way to protect yourself is by getting vaccinated. Speaking of getting vaccinated, getting the shot could give you a shot at free bucks, tickets, and a chance to get a photo with the Larry O'Brien Championship Trophy. The Milwaukee Health Department is once again teaming up with the Bucks to get kids vaccinated. There will be a vaccine clinic Saturday at the Pfizer Forum from 10 until 2. A Food and Drug Administration advisory panel has narrowly voted to recommend Merck's experimental COVID pill. The FDA's Antimicrobial Drugs Advisory Committee voted 13 to 10 in favor of the pill for adults with mild to moderate cases of COVID. Clinical trials showed the pill can reduce the risk of hospitalization and death among high-risk COVID patients by 30 percent. Merck scientists also told the panel they expect the pill to work against the new coronavirus variant, but said more testing is needed. The FDA could make a final ruling on the panel's recommendation within a few days. As concerns over the new variant grow, hospitalizations are climbing across Wisconsin. Take a look at this. This morning, over 1,400 people are hospitalized. To give you some perspective, this time last month, there were 910. And as of right now, 40 of the 1,353 ICU beds in Wisconsin are available.